My goodness. So, so what would you say were what the strengths that you draw from that? Everything we've been we grew up endure in our, uh, our in our career I mean even getting the job in the first place was a, yeah. a bit of a mission I mean I was constantly oh, so? turned so down constantly turned down and uh, I didn't really set out to be someone who operated in hostile environments all the time mm -hmm. it, it just it just ended up like came that over? yeah okay. started off with like talking to the Taliban I had to do a lot of that on my own um, because so you went off on your own venture and you started um, I, I had to wear a burqa and yeah. uh, to to disguise that I wasn't Afghan and that was that in itself my my Afghan friend who I would be going with colleague would be saying stop walking like you you you're being too confident you're being yeah. you've got to be more submissive you could walk yeah, a bit yeah. behind me and Had, uh, yeah and that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. and I thought I was I was like going around like this no you're still too strident you've got to be more um, submissive but I couldn't take a, a guy because how do I disguise them I mean it's bad enough me disguising me as a as a subservient Afghan yeah. woman but try and put a bloke in a burqa it, it's it's not going to be terribly convincing. We had to meet people on motorbikes, then climb up uh, mountains, uh, wow. get there. They'd say, "So, are you carrying anything?" Because they always would think that you were leading the army yeah, behind yeah, you, of course, um, of course. Uh, and that you were some sort of spy. So, how did what did you say? No, I just want to tell you a story. Or? No, I had to give. I gave my phone up. My, my office went nuts, but I left my phone behind at the first thing. And yeah. as soon as we met up, we started walking. He said, phones, hand over the phone. Yeah. Then we kept on meeting various uh, Afghan people on post. They didn't see me as a threat, which yeah. I think is why I got access. Right. Um, and also, I'm a, a foreign woman. So when I finally went down, there were all these guys in the valley with balaclavas on, yeah. holding um, guns. And um, I walked up to him and, and he said, you know, even our own women don't come here. And yeah. I thought, hmm, OK, let's just hope we get out of here alive. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then it was like, let's just co convince him not to do anything crazy.